Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School. It's the fifth day of December 2008. And we're here for the first game of the Junior Varsity basketball season in the CVAC. It's the Saranac Central Chiefs and the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars coming at you right here, right now on viewer supported hometown cable. Very quickly, Jake the Liberty scores. And the Chiefs go into a full court press. And the ball is taken away by Ryan Kerner. It is 2-0 Saranac. It's a Friday evening, the temperature below freezing outside. Passes underneath and we have a foul called by Andy Morelli. It'll send Dylan Gallagher to the line. Look, Ken Bush, he's right next to me here. He's getting more phone calls than the president. Of course, he's better looking than the president, too. 0 for 2 at the line was uh, Dylan Gallagher. And the ball is inbounded by uh, Thomas Bedard. And it's taken away as uh, Armstrong tried to get rid of it. The Chiefs take it away. And the Chiefs take it back after the rebound was pulled down by... Logan Miller. A 2-3 defense for the Cougars. Dubray, the coach for uh, Saranac, and uh, Jerry Davison for Northeastern Clinton. Let's see, seven on the shot clock. Up on the line. There was only four seconds on the shot clock, so he wasn't going to get a quality shot, or neither was anybody else. Trap defense. As soon as the Cougars inbound the ball, they are trapped. What the Chiefs are doing is trying to determine where the Cougars will inbound it. As soon as the uh, ball is inbounded, the man with the ball gets double teamed. Miller into the forecourt. Armstrong gives over to uh, Dale O'Neill. Rebound underneath, pulled down by Alex Davison. Davison gets it back. Out front to Miller. Armstrong to the floor, drives the paint, pulls it up. And good hustle there. Good, good fight for that rebound by Thomas Bedard, eighth grader. Three-second violation. We are almost two minutes into the ball game. Those opening uh, two points have uh, accounted for all the scoring thus far. JV basketball, Saranac at Northeastern Clinton. Opening game of the CBAC season. Uh, Davidson got out hustled to the ball by Jake Liberty. Pass comes underneath, and it's going to be red ball. Let's see, was this 33? It's uh, St. Clair. No, it's 13. 13 is Bond, Ian Bond. Inbounds the ball to Kerner. Knock loose by Miller and out of bounds. Down to whoop, travel. Seven on the shot clock on the travel. Bedard will inbound. Ball into Armstrong. Over to Miller. Davison gives to Miller. Miller from the elbow. And the game is tied as. Logan Miller hits. The 2-2 ball game. Was uh, Gallagher trying to go for a shot? 
defense was too tight, so he tried to ditch it. And taken away. That ball was slapped away by uh, Liberty. 2-2 two, two the score, 421 on the game clock. Defense seems to be ruling at the moment here in this junior varsity game, and it's laid in as they get the ball low to Gallagher. And it's a 4-2 lead, 409 on the clock, timeout on the floor. Bedard will inbound following the timeout. Ball into Armstrong. Armstrong over to O'Neill. And the Chiefs take it away again. High off the glass. And we're going to have a foul. As St. Clair was positioning, he was fouled. Foul is on O'Neill. Dylan, uh, excuse me, uh, Dalton cast nine in for the Cougars. Good hustle there by Bedard, saves the ball. Miller will bring it into the forecourt. Three, two, no, man to man defense for the uh, Chiefs. Shot clock ticking down. And we have a foul on the drive. Armstrong will go to the line. Foul was on St. Clair. First team foul. And both teams are over at the line. Rebounded by Bedard. Here's a shot from Miller for three. And Logan Miller puts his team up 5-4 with his second basket. And we hit the three-minute mark here in the first period. Stolen by Armstrong. Armstrong up for Miller. It's Miller 7. And Saranac 4. Ben Waitman will inbound for the Chiefs. Uh, last evening, this is a Friday on a Thursday, as uh, Ian Bond hits. The Cougar girls took their show on the road, went to Saranac, down beautiful downtown Pickett's Corners. And all three teams, the modified JV and varsity, they all three lost to the Saranac Central Miss Chiefs. So, they, uh, there's now 3 nothing in the basketball season in favor of Saranac. It's 7-6 Cougars as uh, Connor Christopherson brought the ball into the forecourt. Shot from the baseline is missed. Basket will count. Gallagher puts his team up. He'll get a shot at the line. The foul was on Bedard. His first, team third. Gets it on the possession arrow. Uh, uh, fouls on the fellow with all the hair, Mike Manor. Bond misses the first. And uh, both teams continue to uh, be cold from the line, although Saranac does have a point from the foul line on that three-point play a couple minutes ago. Uh, 
Miller brings the, dribbles it out, puts it up short. Tries to follow his shot, and here come the Chiefs. And laid in by Ryan St. Clair. Castine into Armstrong, over to Miller. 11-7 in favor of Saranac. Miller pops it up. St. Clair with the rebound. And they hit to Dylan Gallagher underneath. And he puts his club up by six now. Miller got to be able to go left a little bit. Yeah, going around the, the defender here, trying to get rid of that ball. He, he got to be able to turn and go the other way. <laughs> Miller is charged with the foul. Bond is at the line again. Fifteen seven now. And suddenly the uh, Chiefs have opened it up. All over to Miller. We're down to forty seconds to go in the opening period. Armstrong slides it over. See O'Neill is back in. Uh, Armstrong out to Miller. Seven on the shot clock. Ben Waitman called for the reach. You get a new, a new shot clock. You're trailing by eight here in the opening quarter. You're not looking to use up the shot clock, though, so that's not all that important to the Cougars. Shot was put up and missed by Bedard. At the end of the first period, it's 15-7 in favor of the visitors. Second quarter is underway here, Saranac ball. Rebound was hauled down by Armstrong, pushes it up for O'Neill. Bedard will inbound. 7-13 here in the opening period. There's Miller. Ooh, shot put up by O'Neill. Rebounded by Fabro. Should be Bond at the line again. Bedard with the rebound. A foul, I believe, was on Bedard, his second. And Armstrong. Cougars haven't uh, done a lot of plays uh, several times down the floor here. Oh, rolls it in. I think it was Favreau who put that one in. Makes it 19 7. I believe it was 7-7 seven, seven at one point. There's Miller from the elbow. He drops it in. And uh, now that I think about it, it was 7-4 Cougars, because I remember saying it was Miller 7 and Saranac 4, so 15 unanswered points for Saranac, and all the scoring thus far has been scored by Logan Miller for Northeastern. Yeah. 
Armstrong back to Miller. Miller from the elbow. Shot is missed. And rebound pulled down by Bond. Christofferson lost it as it was slapped away by O'Neill. Miller. And it's tossed in by O'Neill. So 11-19. Saranac up by eight, 5-10, showing in the first half. Too strong, but tip into the hands of Bond, and he pops it in. Castine back in for the Cougars. Twenty-one eleven the score, ten point lead, Saranac. Up to up to Armstrong. We have a kick and Red Ball. I decided it's white ball after all. Well, it's taken away by Liberty. Here comes O'Neill into the forecourt. Armstrong goes it to the floor. And the ball loose, picked up by O'Neill, gives to Davison. And O'Neill puts it in. That makes it 21 13. We are at 4 02 here in the second quarter. Okay, Kerner is shooting. This is the front of the one and one. That was saved by Luke Simpson, number 42 out there for Saranac. Thrown in. Uh, not sure who threw that in. It may have been Favreau or Kerner. At any rate, it was 3.31 on the clock, a 10-point lead for Saranac and a Northeastern Clinton timeout. All right, Castine will inbound. It's it into O'Neill, stolen. And missed by, Lip by Kerner. That foul was on uh, Waitman, who's the third. The team only has four, he has three of them. The Cougar fans looking for a push. Young Tom Bedard has picked up his third foul with 3.13 on the clock here in the first half. Looks like Davison will come in for him. Bond missed his first. Missed his second. Menor is standing flat-footed instead of going to that rebound. The 
the rebounders are going to run right around him. I guess he was trying to box out, but uh, if they're going to box out, then <laughs> make sure they don't go around him. Castine will inbound. 32 on the shot clock. Not sure where that came from. That was an air ball. Not sure where that reset of the shot clock came from. We're down to 33 now on the shot clock. <laughs> so who's got that shot clock anyway? Who are we going to blame it on? Not Vaughn, we know him. It wasn't him. All right, foul was on 42, that's Simpson. Ah, missing them both. Was Armstrong. Miller pulls up for the jumper. He misses, follows. And gets the rebound and basket. I'll say uh, Armstrong must have got the first one because the late putting a point on the scoreboard so it's 23-16 uh, so he did get the first foul shot if I were paying attention I might have noticed that shot is short shot attempt by Kerner Armstrong gives the ball to Miller Davison back outside to Miller. 141 on the game clock. Seven point lead in the second period for Saranac. They came into the quarter with an eight point lead. Miller from the elbow. Davison follows. And rebound is pulled down by Gallagher. Liberty and taken away by Miller. It's, <laughs> it's Manor on the elbow. Uh, must, have, must have got the hair. The hair must have been in his eyes. He couldn't see the pass. Got a hold called on the Cougars. Uh, must be Armstrong. His number is up there right now. Double bonus. Exactly a minute on the clock here in the second quarter. Both foul shots are missed. And dropped in by Kerner. That makes it 25 to 16. Armstrong. Miller. Kerner will shoot. Puts his team back up by 10. We have 37.8 on the clock. Now 27-16. Comes into Castine. He's trapped in the corner. Every uh, time the Cougars get along that the line, one side or the other, they get trapped. Got to give himself a little more freedom when they get the ball. Five second violation. A red ball. Inbounded by Mahalkovic. Mahalkovic will inbound again. Over to Liberty. Four. 
Oh, hop, skip, and a jump. Final run out. 27-16. The miss. The. Uh, <laughs> The Mr. Chiefs have uh, increased their lead by three here in the second quarter. It's 27-16 at the half. The second half is about to begin. Armstrong into Miller. And half is underway. Jump ball. St. Clair forcing the jump. Opening day of the 2008-2009 season, he'll hop, skip, and jump. And that's just good by Gallagher. Miller brings it up. Three point shot is missed by O'Neill. Rebounded Armstrong. And Rob Armstrong lays it in. That'll make it 29 18. Now Saranac with the ball. Keep it. There's Davison. Rolls off the rim. Rebounded by Vaughn. Ball into Miller. Davison up to Bedard. Bedard throws it up and in. Thomas Bedard with the basket. There's Kerner over to uh, Liberty. There come the Chiefs for Bond. Count the basket. Rebounded by Bedard. Ah, that's just good by Armstrong. 31 22. 31 22. Armstrong will inbound. Davison back out to Armstrong. And Rob Armstrong with a tray. And suddenly we have a six point ball game. 31 25. Timeout. Fair enough. All right, we have three. People from St. Mary's right there. Here we go. Take a look at them. Here we go. Andy Morelli, Moose Misek, and Gary Castine. Here's the contest. One of them graduated 
1967. One of them graduated in 1969. The other one graduated in 1971. If St. Mary's were still open, uh, they would have all graduated from St. Mary's, but uh, St. Mary's had closed by then, so put them in a the proper order. 67, 69, 71. They got their choice of Castine, Misek, or Morelli. Send your answer in. Envelope with a $50 bill. And we'll have a drawing. I want to, all the ones who are correct will be placed in the drawing. The winner will get $20. All entries must include a check for $50. Heck, you can't lose. I can't lose. Thirty-one twenty-seven. Cougars have closed it to a two-pointer. And the Chiefs will put one in. Bond with the basket. Thirty-three twenty-seven. Three fifty on the clock here in the third. On the clock, 33-27. Jump ball call. Cougar's turn on the jump ball. O'Neill gives it back to Armstrong. Miller's there. Miller will bring it across the timeline. Bounces it to Bedard, back out to Miller. O'Neill stops, tries to hand off. And the Chiefs will bring it back. Gallagher's shot was blocked, and we have a foul here at this end. Foul is on number 11, Christofferson, his first. Team second. 33-29. Way outside. Fouls on O'Neill, his second, team second. Both teams with two fouls at this point in the second half. 2.04 on the clock. <laughs> Rebound is pulled down by Mihalkovic. The red ball. Two minutes and one second. That's Gallagher's first foul. Four point lead for Saranac as we cross the two minute mark here in the third. Bedard stops, puts it up, and we have a whistle. Travel. Oh, we got here, Christofferson. Over to Liberty. And 
sweeps taken away. Miller has picked up his third foul. Christofferson at the line. A lot of threes up there. 33-29 here in the third. Ball slapped out by Favreau. Bernard gets it back. A little deep for Manor. Slapped away. Good, good block there by uh, Gallagher. And the Chiefs make it a six point lead again. 50 seconds to go in the third. Long shot by Castine. Rebounded Armstrong. White ball. And that's just good by O'Neill. 35-31. There's more time on the uh, game clock than the shot. More time on the shot clock than there was on the game clock, so they, they shut the shot clock off. 11 seconds. 10 seconds! The three. A long three-pointer by Liberty. Liberty puts his team up by seven. After three with a long tray. A long, long tray. Armstrong and Miller in the fourth quarter gets underway. The Cougars down by seven. They, were, they closed it to a four-point game. Jump ball. the rim and, and hit the guide wire. Long shot by O'Neill. Liberty. Manor with the ball gives through Armstrong. Armstrong gets it back. O'Neill back to Armstrong over to Miller. And basket by Miller. Two pointer makes it 38 33. That's the first points of the fourth quarter. We're at 640 right now, left in the game. Take it away. Armstrong pushes it up to Miller. Tries to go to O'Neill. Is it off Liberty? Yep. Armstrong will inbound. shot clock when that uh, ball was lost. Jump ball. 5.53 left in the ball game. 38-33. Saranac leading Northeastern in Junior Varsity. Boys basketball opening game of the 2008-2009 season. And 
Pass was good by Casey Fabro. by Bedard, he is fouled. Robert. And the Chiefs take it away again. And Cougars take it back. There's Miller. Viewers supported local television, hometown cable. Uh, timeout Cougars. Seven points, Saranac lead. 4.33 on the clock. Three-point shot is kept alive and missed by Gallagher, and we're going to have a foul bound to go to the line. Uh, Bedard has fouled out, and it's going to be Gallagher at the line. Well, Thomas Bedard is fouled out. Liberty. Miller picks up his fourth foul. Liberty can make it a ten point game. I guess I'll have time. 323 on the clock. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go, nine point lead for Saranac. Junior varsity boys basketball in the CBAC. Favreau at the line, Castein with the foul. Three point play for Favreau makes it a 12 point lead for Saranac. Armstrong. Count the basket. Waitman charged for his fourth foul. Forty-five, thirty-five, two twenty-five to go in the game. Down 
rebounded by Waitman. Off the basket. Foul was on O'Neill, his third, team eight. 48-35 now, we got 2 one on the clock. This uh, fourth quarter is dragging at this point. They don't play a long time without a whistle. Follows on Castine, his third team ninth. If refs have forgot about the one and one. Ball was out of bounds. Nobody rebounded it. Well, it's white ball. Everybody stood around like it was a two shot foul. Good thing the scoreboard is keeping everybody awake. As I said, this game is dragging at this point, and I think the referees are <laughs> dozing now. <laughs> they're not dozing because they're blowing a whistle all the time, but <laughs> they're in the trance. 42, Simpson scores. Miller throws it up short. Ends up with the rebound. Davis into Miller. Baseline jumper is good. 50 to 37, stolen by Armstrong. 50 to 39, 51 seconds to go. Shot is missed. And Simpson puts in the rebound. Off the miss shot by Fabro. Fifty-two thirty-nine. Miller throws it up. Rebound Davison. Foul on Simpson, his second, team seventh. And we got Brandon Spooner is going to come in for the final 21.1 seconds. Already had Nate Favreau, 43, out there for the Cougars. Anybody on the floor from Saranac we haven't mentioned yet? Probably Jeremiah Hamill, 21. Logan Miller has fouled out. 52 40 to score, now 53. 16.9 on the clock. Ball didn't hit the rim, so it's Cougar Ball. See if we can get this last 16 seconds done without a whistle. Let's see if we can get this last 11.1 seconds done without a whistle. One point seven. 53-40 is the final. The Saranac Central Chiefs defeat the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. That's the way it was in Junior Varsity Boys Basketball on his fifth day of December 2008. Thanks for watching and for those of you supporting viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. Win, lose, or draw. TV worth your support, hometown cable.